Hey there, Game Makers. Once again, the newest beta has dropped for Game Makers. So this is the 0.4. If you have been, you know, paying attention, then 0.3 was kind of like a, kind of a little bit skipped. But once again, we got ourselves some new cool stuff. And one of them is actually one of my favorite ones. So this is the bling bling thing, which will be a standard in, in two, three weeks, I guess. And therefore, I'm, I, I simply say like, hey, uh, this is one of the, my favorite features. And I was actually requesting it. And maybe somebody was actually listening to me. Highly doubt it. But hey, you can always dream. And then what is it? It's Bloom. It's one of my favorite thing. It's creating glowiness and some, uh, well, um, light effects where there actually is no light. And that stuff is being used in the industry so much. But of course little downside just a little bit it is a resource hawk it will gobble up your <laughs> graphics card vram like it's uh, you know it has no limits so once again just be mindful of that but besides that loving it it will be a new standard awesome do do love that so um how should we start it well there are a few basically this new uh, update which we're going to see for the last two months will be uh, in quotations, just a few new uh, effects, then new cleaning options quickly. Basically, normally you would clean everything like this, but now you can do it with just granular. So basically just getting rid of um, temporal storage stuff. Yeetzy, wowzy, and super interesting. Not really, but hey, um, it has some application. And then asynchronous here, the newest is audio playback and these are the not so bling bling parts but let's go actually into the interesting stuff so here the newest effect which is called glow and um yeah this is how it's called and this is a complete resource against just you know doing some really heavy calculations on your graphics card so here be mindful and then um i try to tone down the quality and radius because this means just more calculations and then intensity is just how strong you want to have it for example if you dial it up to 0 0.9 it's gonna glow a lot but i guess not too much which is good because i didn't <laughs> didn't put in the radius well not too much because the graphics card does not like that. Believe me, my graphics card really does not like. So once again, it's just looking a little bit more beautiful. Once again, one of my favorite effects. And thank you to your -Yo games team, whoever thought this was a good idea. Yes, it is a good idea. Thank you, thank you. Maybe somebody was every actually listening to me because each um, update I uh, talk about, I'm just hinting like, hey, come on, Bloom, give me Bloom, give me Bloom. And actually they gave it to me, so. I'm really thank you, uh, thankful. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Have I mentioned thank you? Thank you a lot. And therefore, um, well, I guess everybody will of course profit from that as well. And then the next one we have, which is a curious case, it is clouds. Uh, yeah, it's clouds. Uh, cool effect for most things not too useful but of course for some i'm not sure actually what to do with that to be honest you can just overlay a sprite with that but that looks terrible so um, that's not a good idea so this is meant as a screen filling effect you can just play around with a lot of things here um yeah and it is cool looking so i'm not gonna i'm not doubting that here yeah, let's make that some trippy stuff. <laughs> Yo, um, cool, cool things. So once again, pretty interesting effect. Hopefully uh, you guys have a pretty have some good ideas what to do with it. But once again, um, more stuff, uh, the more stuff, the better. And then the next one, we have recursive blur. It does one thing, which is, well, blurring things. So for example, once we start it, you will see a blur effect. Ooh, yeah, awesome, I know. Um, well, the more the better. Um, I'm actually not too in-depth because we got different kind of blur. So we got a large blur, linear blur, blur, blur. 
do I have a blur blur? <laughs> I just thought, well, we get tons of ways and then we get one more uh, for the win. And then the next one we got mass. I'm not gonna take away from that because I assume it has a very specific application, but just, you know, we, um, mm, I'm just using one blur and this is doing um, most of the work, which is good enough for me. Then we got ourselves mask. This one is a curious case. So let's say you use it as a global thing for everything. Not a good idea. And you think you could mistake it with um, the vignette and you would be kind of right because it's kind of a similar effect, but it's not supposed to be used as a global thing. It is supposed to be used, for example, on an image. There you mask that dude. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Mask, here we go. And then, for example, you can, I don't know, um, do specific masking, which is pretty cool. And then you could actually use it for a dissolve effect or for some other stuff and then just, you know, change the texture mask. It doesn't need to be this radial thing. So you could do some really interesting things because um, now... Um, you are more flexible in masking stuff and then you're just overlaying it with some specific well, mask textures. So that's kind of a very versatile thing um, if you ask me. Then the next one, what do we got? We got ourselves the last one, not too terribly um, interesting for most people because it is blend and blend modes to be exactly. So basically just imagine you have pixels which are going in and pixels which are going out and then you're just deciding hey um how what will the result look like so for example this one is being drawn as a default and then for example if you just go subtract and run that dude then the color would be well the negative ones of um, those things and then if you want to go even more granular so you can just even even go uh, blend extent this is more for the advanced um, users and then if, for example, if you want to do very specific blending effects on specific layers, then this is for you. Normally you would do that in code and now you can do it via um, an effect type. Pretty cool stuff. So I have to play around with it. For most people, I would say it doesn't have any real applications. Um, so for example, this stuff is actually pretty sweet for, uh, for light effects or for example, for illumination there it's definitely more useful so here just play around with that if you like and then we are pretty much done so once again that's pretty much it we will have the well the update in two weeks i assume rather three so on the fifth tenth or something like this and um yeah so once again my biggest 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 highlight is it's not yet most definitely not it is, of course, I love my vignette. It's a pretty sweet thing, but glow, yes, for the win. My favorite thing. But once again, this thing is a gobbler of of resources. It's it's really, really, really hard and taxing. But of course, not too much. Just, you know, if you have like five in a row, please don't do that because that would, you know, just be like a super, uh, <laughs> you know, taking all the frames of your game but if you want to have that well you can go but just just be a little bit mindful uh, with those values and just play around with that so once again i love me some so this is kind of more the after effect on everything is finished and then you just want to give it a sweet little glowiness on that but of course you shouldn't be using that for user interface elements because um making them glow doesn't make any sense for the gameplay part yes you should Alrighty, that was it from my side. Hopefully you enjoyed this little preview of the beta strand, which you can actually check out yourself if you like. Link in the description below and see you in the next one. Have a good one. One up indie.